We go through life naked, as if you think about it, or at least that is the base in which we start our day. Then the armor goes on, the make-believe, the decoration, the way we express ourselves. But deep down, everything reverts down to the simple core, free of artifice, and it is from this that my journey began. I want to thank, huge thank you to Erica for everything that has gone on behind the scenes to bring me here and provide this wonderful opportunity for my second exhibition in Chicago. Water is the essence of life. Without water, we would not exist. And it's about taking care of our earth because if each one of us don't do some tiny little thing, it's not going to be the same as how we grew up. And what better way to do it than through art? Well, it's a very organic way to represent the water, because um, water is so fluid and the way the people are represented, um, it, it has the same kind of feel, so it all seems like one. There's a first impression, a second impression. Then when you talk to Hugh and you understand how he composes and how he prints, you know, there's another layer. There's a certain sense of eternal, life even though you're underwater and you understand that you could lose your oxygen at any moment. The element of water really opens up a whole new opportunity for him, a whole new perspective for how you view act photography. So the combination of that I think is very unique. I've never seen anything like it. These photographs inspire peace and stillness, harmony and love when we walk away. You don't have time to think that much. You've got a camera in your hand. You're trying to balance. Sometimes you're swimming underneath, upside down. And you have no idea where you were in a way. And an awful lot of things happen underwater that you only see afterwards, you know? I wanted to show in panoramic pictures strong stories. So that lessons in life, uh, influences in life, whatever. So I would go onto the internet, I would look at theater, I would look at ballet. Visually, it's not easy to come to those conclusions and it takes many, many months, years even. Everything starts with a tiny embryo of an idea which gradually evolves over a period of around three years. It sounds like an eternity, but during that time, it is a huge learning and growing process within myself. We have so many layers as we go through our lives, and in a way, what I'm trying to do here is show those different layers. Everybody has their own take on art and what it means to them, so the message is, if it moves me, I hope in some way that the pictures will move you. It is a long way from the Mediterranean Sea, but perhaps you can swim a little in your dreams tonight.